Hi guys, welcome back and time for our weekly market outlook. It's going to be an exciting week uh, this week as uh, we have a ton of news obviously to debate and to talk uh, about as uh, obviously uh, the market motivation in this case might be kind of on the rising uh, path. First of all, the positive risk sentiment has uh, kind of eased a little bit and let's start with the uh, a deeper look into the stock market environment. The S&P 500 seemingly faded off this resistance area, the falling trend line we talked about, plus the moving average. And I said, hey, if we continue trading slightly below the 3970, 3980 area, I might say market momentum could be on the weaker side. And we can see that. What happened last week on Friday, obviously a ton of volatility here, caused the markets to jump back to the downside here. 3980, the market's recovery from Thursday. We're on the hourly chart here. Thursday, market slightly higher. Friday, also slightly higher. And then sudden volatility here, the push lower, retracement, and boom, the market starting to push back towards some lower areas. In this case, I would expect that this uh, kind of lasts potentially, and the market seemingly remains on some sort of a shaky ground. Of course, the bigger candles here from earlier, also from last week, um, here uh, shows us that uh, a further negative uh, mentality might be the case. Yet, as long as we stay on top of this, um, I would say, daily chart, 50 moving average, the market might continue trading slightly towards higher levels. So my idea would be here to uh, rather impose a bit of a wait and see approach. This trend line, the supportive trend line still makes somewhat sense to me and could potentially tell me that further negative price momentum could be the case. That's uh, at least um, regarding some sort of positive market sentiment. Let's see. Maybe we see the market on Monday trading higher. My idea is then Thursday, Wednesday, sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, potentially weaker. But it shouldn't be uh, easy this week. As I said, we have so much uh, bearish, uh, potentially bearish as well as positive impacts here uh, this week. On uh, Tuesday, we have the Consumer Price Index. That's going to be potentially at least interesting. The Fed is not going to take this much into their consideration regarding their interest rate decision. But on Wednesday, we have exactly the Fed's monetary policy statement plus the interest rate decision as well as a press conference thereafter. And this could cause market momentum to be quite volatile, leading to a bigger market motivation here uh, in this uh, case. So that's exactly regarding what we might expect here on Wednesday. And then furthermore, looking at the S&P 500's uh, sell-off mentality, potentially at least, I don't see this looks like bullish to me, right? It's something similar where if we would have kind of traded the market from that perspective, we can actually look at it from the daily chart as well. We could say, look, back in the days, the market looked also actually a kind of quite a, a positive here off this trend line. The market fell right towards this trend line, then subsequently found a bit of a bottom here, previous resistance support, right? You can see that market has a memory, as we call it, and uh, quite often moves back, touch the same zones, support on the left, resistance on the right. Same story is true here. And then boom, a push to the downside, retracement to the upside uh, towards the 4130 area, which in turn then thereafter causes the market momentum to be limited, causing further negative headlines to take over. And I might say this could be the outcome here, medium term. I found something interesting online, some interesting analogy uh, to the past, and that's the volatility index. So if we're looking at the volatility index here, and we have uh, two uh, price ranges compared with quite some interesting uh, outcome here. Um, the uh, um, 2006 towards the 2009 area, the global financial crisis, basically where the markets uh, kind of overlay, shows us how the volatility looks like. The blue line, which is basically the past the volatility, which tells us Volatility, that's the VIX index, which shows volatility on the S&P 500. Basic idea, a rising volatility tells us that uh, basic stock markets are 
rather our stocks are sharing hands quite more often and that's leading to a sell-off in markets the question is so are we going to see the same story here right now as we if we look and compare the vol index here um, uh, towards uh, the recent uh, a couple of uh, months here basically in this year we might say hi this could be uh, something interesting this could be something remarkable and the question is going to be are we going to see a break to the upside are we going to see another a break towards uh, way higher levels here in this case uh, which it could be the case of course uh, if we are comparing at least the past uh, the past zone here the blue line with a sudden explosion in vol could be the same here right now uh, leading towards some uh, sort of a rather negative feedback which uh, could tell us that uh, markets stock markets and in particular of course the S&P 500 could see whew, another nose dive here to the downside there are many uh, obvious reasons the markets can go to the downside, uh, of course, if we are looking at a sudden further a bullish approach. And that's something interesting when we are looking at the fundamental side here from the Federal Reserve. Basically, Bloomy, uh, Bloomberg is reporting that uh, uh, things kind of really um, uh, might move uh, at least towards uh, well into uh, next year and of course furthermore some investors are expecting some rate cuts and that's the, the global idea of course guys here that uh, basically if we see the Federal Reserve being more on the monetary policy easing side stock markets likely going to respond with positivity as long as stock markets on the other hand are getting these uh, uh, kind of contractual policy as we see it here right now we could see that uh, a further a negative insight could uh, kind of of course uh, support some sort of market negativity here which is what uh, might be the outcome here uh, first of all and that's uh, obviously in general how market momentum uh, of course uh, happens here right now which could in turn uh, cause markets to turn back towards some um, lower levels that's at least the one side of the coin here and whatever outcome it is we could argue as well the market has found some support pushing to the upside here towards the trend line the market found some support in particular on top or kind of right at the 50 moving average went all the way back to the similar trend line and now is falling lower however we are still in the early days in the month of no at december last month for the year already which could lead towards some further negativity as well which in turn could tell us uh, that uh, a further downside momentum move could happen and the further downside momentum move of course could also cause this market to turn way towards some lower areas uh, with uh, definitely some sort of further downside momentum ahead Something positive, Leo, and we can also see if we are looking at Bloomberg, we get both uh, sides of the coin here, whereas uh, some guys obviously seemingly continue to be quite positive. Uh, and uh, I've read the information here. Some of the top fund managers, they're expecting double digit uh, price uh, increases next year which holy moly would be something of course uh, quite interesting i'm not too sure though how this uh, where they should come from but uh, you never know of course uh, when central bank policy uh, changes direction somewhat uh, you want to be the fast of course fastest of course to uh, get your hands into markets directly which is obviously when markets move positively uh, in the uh, near couple of uh, trading weeks ahead on the other hand still i'm looking at this volatility picture here which would obviously post a bit of a grim outlook here history at times though of course uh, reports itself the question is still the same is this going to happen this a sharp move here or will this uh, a big push to the upside not happen and hence obviously causing some sort of a, a slight negative headlines here um, for the volatility index, a negative uh, um, a vol index or say another not so sharp rise in volatility would of course uh, rather consider to be positive for stock markets, uh, which is exactly what we could see on the other hand. Back towards the currency and FX and uh, of course as well um, the metals market. I kind of like the outlook on the uh, silver here. Last week on Friday in particular, we've seen that this market given us a huge push to the upside. Friday the market crossed uh, the 23 level and actually offered some sort of bullish mortality. I'm looking at the 
fundamental or say technical still of course so 50 moving average line crossed big time a push higher here retracement and the market where i said could break to the upside two weeks ago boom explosion last week not so much of a positivity but definitely the market started to trade again back to the upside here and this week to be honest looks to be quite positive to me and i would say without any open target i would like to see that this market runs back to the upside initial zones i might call for could be the 2460 range here and even the 2580 area so i would have some sort of upside momentum in front of us at least when looking at the silver market the same is true for gold both markets look extremely positive but of course it still depends on how the us dollar is going to be traded here and how much of a positivity a momentum move the us dollar will see as at the moment we can observe that rather weakness is key and uh, this US dollar weakness obviously would uh, happen and help the um, silver and gold market likewise. The same is true and uh, we can see as, as we speak just now here about the gold market, a bit of a retracement here, but uh, so far that's actually one of the only trades and I'm talking about silver, which I would like to hold on to potentially for the week as it looks to be that uh, market momentum could be due for some further upside potential at least i like the outlook here for now and hence would obviously think of uh, further increasing my positions uh, uh, further to the upside looking at it from the euro dollar perspective we got something similar here uh, markets retracement uh, and in this case uh, sideways price action sideways price action here um, towards uh, and through the 50 moving average should the market continue trade to the upside i think uh, further momentum towards some way higher levels could be seen in this case i think uh, this is just uh, an obvious positive market move here which again could also last somehow further in particular since last week gave us a bit of a doji here but still uh, offers potentially further upside momentum of course any sort of uh, upside momentum in the euro dollar currency pair on the other hand would also be positive for stock markets weaker dollar traditionally also supports stock markets rushing to the upside in this case we can also look at the bond market here and i see that there's something interesting to be observed here right now so basically the dow jones sorry the the, the 10 year yields they start to run slightly higher again last week we've seen the markets dropping starting to increase in value again it's an interesting support area which we've tested so any sort of a negativity here for markets could lead yields running further to the upside it's not extremely likely but there are some sort of indications here that still another push to the upside could be seen and hence obviously we can observe this these sort of trend lines make a, a perfect sense again whether the two-year yields uh, and in particular the two-year ones uh, are not looking extremely uh, positive here right now to me the market looks still to kind of be flipping to the downside whereas upside momentum could also be seen uh, depending on how you uh, look at it in this market environment on the other side, uh, we can observe that uh, TLT is uh, heading slightly lower. So being uh, kind of uh, uh, capped at this support area, that's the interesting part, which I see bond yields potentially slightly rising and uh, the long term, long maturing ETF uh, of the support area now turning resistance fading. So there's the question, is this going to shape markets? Further, is this going to help the bond market or help the bond yields somehow further? At least the upside potential here is going to be quite interesting. Uh, should the market at least uh, offer us some sort of momentum here? Positivity, I would say, is uh, potentially still to be seen here, remains to be seen, but uh, we can see that there's some, some sort of a, a turnaround in candlestick patterns. And that's the key part. Looking at it from the daily chart perspective, we can observe that Friday it gave this market a push to the downside. Markets weaker, stock markets weaker, TLT lower, and bond yields rising. A rise in bond yields obviously a kind of positive for market momentum in general. Looking at the volatility index here, I just shared this screenshot with you guys with a sudden potential rise. We can see that these little waves which we've had in the past can also be seen 
uh, in the volatility index on the live chart 2280 so the market uh, vol is already on the rise again and that's exactly what i said early on we've seen these uh, sort of falling ranges and then subsequent uh, uh, really after that breakout momentum uh, candlestick patterns the same is true right now i wouldn't even kind of uh, start looking into this uh, into this sort of candlestick pattern here whatever that is but uh, i would look for some sort of uh, upside momentum further with the uh, potentially the um, stock market's volatility just uh, continuing to the upside which of course in turn tells me the upside momentum here could be seen instead uh, of falling volatility i would say the upside path towards a rise could be possible the question is though will we see a strong sudden increase in volatility or will we see something what we've seen in the past here just some sort of a rising volatility momentum to then see a falling prices here the question is always of course uh, will it be bad again for stock markets here anytime soon or will we see maybe some increase in volatility which doesn't have a significant input on falling stock markets of course if the vol would rise towards these high levels guys of course this would be extremely bearish but also maybe the history uh, repeats itself somewhat with a sort of a smaller amount of rising volatility which could of course in turn cause stock markets to sell off again here in this case the s p 500 could cause the s p to drop maybe towards the 3736 level and to then rethink the situation with potentially even a bullish market price momentum returning. So that's the key takeaway here in markets. And that's actually everything I have for so far for the week. Of course, uh, the uh, big information from China is going to be interesting. Uh, COVID uh, cases are rapidly uh, spreading in China. That's the interesting part. One headline which I've read as well is like uh, the government propaganda, which uh, caused uh, the virus to be quite dangerous. We can see this here fearful of the virus after three years of propaganda that painted it as dangerous i'm just wondering i guess most governments have painted the virus as extremely dangerous i remember that from singapore having stayed there i know the same story from germany italy of course anywhere where the government was uh, quite negative and now it seems to me that this headline to me is a bit strange because first of all we know that many people have uh, lost their lives due to COVID-19 and the fast uh, spreading of the virus but uh, now it seems to be that uh, the history should be rewritten again and it seems to me that this uh, should suggest that uh, the virus is not as dangerous as it was prior but of course we have uh, gone through countless mutations of the virus and seemingly now the virus turns more contagious but on the other hand obviously a bit less dangerous uh, for any individual so far so that's the uh, key part uh, some information from china also say tells me uh, tells uh, it comes out here that uh, people should uh, not overwhelm the um, hospitalization sector obviously kind of some doctors are also being asked to turn uh, to uh, to the uh, to hospital to uh, ask to turn to work uh, should they be not significantly sick even being infected with COVID-19 so that's a, a marks an interesting uh, market directional change in this case it's going to be interesting on how much of a situation this is going to cause as seemingly rising a sharp rise in the infectionary cases are being reported guys that's my take and uh, of course on thursday we're going to focus on the bank of england on uh, thursday we also focus on the european central bank not really sure how this goes i think in the next couple of days we'll know more on what's the market expectation either way markets are likely going to move uh, into whatever direction until then talk to you soon thanks for tuning in happy trading week ahead see you later ciao ciao